I'm laughing because I just hurt myself. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Haley Adams. And if you like all things spooky and boozy and just, you know, like having a fun time, I suggest you hit that subscribe button down below. If you're a returning victim, yeah, you're a victim. Welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. If you hear a scrabbling sound in the background, it's just the gremlins in my walls. Pay that no mind. But we are back for another episode of Horror Feet. Hooray! Woohoo! Hell yeah! The gremlins have calmed down for now. Oh no, the gremlins might be starting back up again. It's fine. Today we are making a Halloween themed drink. The movie. Not the holiday. This is a little bit tropical, which doesn't make sense for the movie either, but you know, I think Mikey would like it. We are calling it The Night He Came Home. Drunk. Isn't that brilliant? I know. There's something in my eyeball. Ugh. <laughs> so what you're going to do is you're going to take a rocks glass, fill it with ice, or whatever glass, you know. I don't care. You guys should know that by now. And we're going to take some pineapple juice. Mine's from Trader Joe's because I think that's the better pineapple juice in here. Give it a nice little shake. Oh, I always forget, you know, drink responsibly. You know the drill. If you're underage, don't drink. Just have some pineapple juice. You're not missing out on anything. Except for my recipes. Those you're missing out on. And you're gonna just fill that to about right there. Oh, the gremlins. <laughs> the, gr the gremlins are about. <laughs> Next thing you're going to do just take some simple syrup and because this baby is strong you're just gonna just the tiniest little squirt just like two drops so it's not too too tart and you're gonna put in a dash of lime again little dash squirt that bad boy in and now we get to the fun stuff wondering why this is already out haphazardly I realized I have never actually dr drunk straight Malibu so I tried it it's good it tastes like sunscreen you know so if you're into that so take your Malibu or any coconut flavored rum I'm sure other brands make coconut rum besides Malibu and you are gonna get a shot glass and you're gonna fill that bad boy up and you're gonna dump it in Dump it right on in there. I like to keep it simple for you guys. To keep it nice and simple here. And then you're going to stir it. Beautiful. I realize I haven't talked about Halloween this entire... What? My, my camera gremlin is pointing at me. A house gremlins are just running amok today. Anyway, let's talk about Halloween a little bit. Classic. Great original movie. I like it a lot. Kind of goes off the rails towards the middle there a bit. That newest one? I don't know about that. What was up with that dude that wasn't Michael getting the spotlight the entire time? I don't come to a movie to see fucking Corey. No. I come to see this guy. This guy right here. I would give him a smooch, but he's special. He's signed by one of the stuntmen that played Michael, so I don't want to get lipstick on him. He just wants it there nicely. Anyway, what are your thoughts on the third Halloween movie? Because I know people are very divided on Season of the Witch. I don't like that there's no Michael in it, but it is a good movie. Anyway, back to the drink here. The last thing we're going to do is we are going to top her off. I love that, that spicy little <laughs> that the thing does. Top it off with club soda just to give it a bit of a punch. And there you have it, the night he came home, drunk. <laughs> the gremlins, <laughs> they're taking over. <laughs> Say hi, Gomez. He's giving my drink a 10 out of 10. And now it's full of farts. Okay, I'm the one drinking it. It's fine. He's just... He's like Godzilla over here. Did you guys see how cute it was at the Oscars and the Godzilla people brought up little Godzilla toys? 
with me one. This is just so something I would do. And also all of their shoes, the hand, it was a Godzilla hand. So cute. This is a Halloween drink. So let's try it. Mm. That is like I'm on the dang beach and not in the suburbs. We love it. And that is it for today's episode of Horror Hooch. Thank you so much for sticking around. Let me know if you try this drink, if you like it, if you think it's not Halloween-y enough. I agree, but keep that to yourself. It's orange. Nobody sells pumpkin spice right now. It's, it's March, you know? So cut a girl, cut a girl a break. All right, I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to, you know, go check me out on Instagram and TikTok as well if you're feeling that, you know? If you're feeling it, I would appreciate it. But do something spooky today, and I will see you tonight in your dreams. Bye!